In this quick tip video, I'll show you how to create amazing animations with a logo using MoType. Download a free trial today right from the FX Factory application. MoType is a particle-based title generator. Its recent version 2 update added a ton of new presets and powerful 3D features. Since MoType works with text, there is a very cool way to be able to animate your logo using the power of this plugin in Final Cut Pro, Motion, Premiere Pro, or After Effects. There is a useful, inexpensive extension for Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop called Font Self Maker. It allows you to create open type fonts from your own designs. You can create a font from any logo graphic you have single color, black, or white versions of logos work best as fonts don't pass color information to MoType. You can use logos with color, but they will be changed to grayscale, which can still be effective for impressive animations like backgrounds or particle generation. I have a solid white vector logo open in Illustrator. I'll open the Font Self Maker extension window and simply drag the logo into it. In the text box, I'll type the letter A and choose Create Glyph. This adds the logo to the A in the font. You could certainly add all of your letters here if you wanted. I'll click Save and save this as an open type font. In the Finder, a double click will install the new font into your font book application. Now your logo is available as a font. In Final Cut Pro, I'll drag the MoType 2 preset your eyes shine to my timeline. I'll show you how I'd like to customize this, but to see some in-depth tutorials for this powerful plugin, go to the MoType product page at fxfactory.com. I'll put a link in the description. I'll click the Edit Text button to launch the text editor. Here we've got some default Helvetica text with alternating colors. Let's emulate this with our logo. I'll type a string of A characters. I'll change the font to our logo font and click OK. And now our logo animates on in MoType. I'll make some quick adjustments. Under Motion Timing, I'll set Animate to Characters. I'll turn on the background and choose a bold color. And under Transformations, I'll keyframe a slow rotation around the Z axis. That was super easy. Now that our logo is a font, we can use the creative presets and the powerful parameters in MoType 2 to create endless logo animations. Create with a wide range of great video effects at fxfactory.com.